dear students in this video we are going to learn about the classic problems of synchronization there are three problems are discussed under the classic problems of synchronization one is bounded buffer theorem readers writers problem and the dining philosophers problem in this video we are going to learn about bounded buffer problem readers writers problem in bounded buffer there will be a buffer of size n numbers and there will be a producer and there will be a consumer Producer produces an element into the buffer. Consumer consumes an element from the buffer. In since the buffer is accessible both by the producer and consumer, there will be a control variable for accessing this buffer. That name of the control variable is mutex. The mutex variable will be either zero or one. One indicates that the buffer is available for access zero indicates that the buffer is not available for access so the reader and the writer makes use of this mutex variable in order to perform their operations in the critical section in this bounded buffer there are two more variables are used one is full and the empty the full variable is nothing but one semaphore variable which indicates how many buffer elements are occupied empty is a another semaphore variable that indicates how many buffer elements are empty the initial value of the full is zero because at the beginning there will not be any element in the buffer therefore the full is zero empty is n because initially all the locations in the buffer are free therefore empty is equal to n all n elements are available for the producer all the n elements are available the structure of the producer problem is shown on the screen the producer first verify whether at least one empty element is available in the buffer by checking the value of the empty variable if empty is equal to 0 the wait operation on the empty 0 blocks the producer are entering into the critical section because all the elements are occupied because empty zero indicates that none of the locations in the buffer is free so therefore producer will be blocked when empty is equal to zero if empty is not zero then the wait operation will not block the producer control will go to the next statement so mutex is the variable used to check entry condition to access the con contents of the buffer so mutex is equal to either 0 or 1 if if the consumer is not in the critical section then the mutex variable will be 1 if the consumer is in the critical section the mutex variable will be 0 so assume that if the mutex is 1 that indicates that no other process is in the critical section then wait operation on this mutex variable will not block the producer so producer is permitted to enter into the critical section then he produces an element then he will come out of the critical section so as soon as he come out of the critical section he gives the signal he calls the signal function to increment the mutex variable so therefore in in this wait function call the mutex variable value is decremented in signal function call the mutex variable value is incremented so as soon as the producer come out of the critical section one element is filled by the producer therefore he has to increment the full variable to one more element therefore he will call the signal function this signal function increment the full semaphore variable in this way the process is repeated for all the elements produced by the producer suppose if the mutex variable value is 0 here then it indicates that other process is in the critical section the producer is not permitted to enter into the critical section because this wait operation wait function on mutex variable zero blocks the producer he will not be permitted to enter into the critical section in this way the producer process is controlled by the making use of this mutex variable the structure of the consumer process is shown here initially the consumer process check whether at least one element is in the buffer if the buffer is empty consumer has to do nothing 
if at least one element is there to consume, then the consumer will consume the element by applying the mutex lock on this buffer. So the first full semaphore value is verified by the consumer. If the full is equal to zero, that indicates that no elements are there in the buffer. The buffer is empty. That is the meaning of full is equal to zero. If full is not, then if full is zero, the consumer will be blocked here, waiting in the while loop for at least one element to be produced by the producer. Suppose if the full value is one, at least one, then the consumer will come out of the while loop, then control will go to the next statement. In this next statement, consumer will try to access the critical section by using this mutex variable. So if the mutex variable value is equal to one, that indicates that the, the producer is not in the critical section. The consumer is permitted to enter into the critical section. So if the mutex variable value is equal to zero, that means producer is already in the critical section, consumer is not permitted to enter into the critical section. So in that way, the await function will block the consumer when mutex variable value is equal to zero. So when mutex variable value becomes one, the await function is released and then producer is entering into the critical section. Consumer enters into the critical section, he accesses the content from the buffer, he consumes the one element. So when one element is consumed, he has to signal one empty location. That means one empty location is produced by the consumer. So therefore, he will come out of the critical section by calling the signal function on mutex variable. So mutex variable is zero because consumer is inside the critical section. Now mutex variable will turn from zero to one when signal function is called. So as soon as the release of the mutex variable, the consumer also increment the empty semaphore value because one element is produced, one element is made empty by the consumer. So the consumer value, consumer increments the empty, empty semaphore variable value. In that way, the consumer will consume element from the buffer when producer is not inside the critical section. So if at least one element is there, consumer can perform the these operations. In this way, both the producer and consumer make use of the mutex variable to get permission to enter into the critical section to access the buffer, buffer content. In producer-consumer problem, there will be only one producer and only one consumer to access the contents of the buffer. But in readers-writers problem, there will be n number of readers will be there, but only one writer will be there to access the contents from the shared buffer. In this problem, the readers can only perform the read operation on the data set. They are not permitted to perform any update operations. Whereas the writers can perform both read and as well as write operations in the contents of the data set. So therefore, multiple readers are allowed to read the contents of the data set at the same time. But when writer is there, only one single writer can perform the shared data access at any point of time. So therefore, when one reader is performing some reading operation in the data set, if any other reader comes, the reader readers are compatible. So this is permitted. So when one reader is reading the data set, if one, one more reader is asking for accessing the data set, the reading operations are compatible, therefore they are permitted. When one reader is performing reading operation and writer is trying to perform the write operation, this is denied. So read write, read write operations are not compatible, therefore the permission for writer to enter into the critical section is denied. When writer is in the critical section and reader wants to enter into the critical section to perform the reading operation, then Reader is denied to enter into the critical section because writer is performing the writing operation until the writer completes the update operation in the critical section. The readers are not permitted to access the content. So in that way, so one reader is inside a critical section means any number of other readers are also permitted to enter into the critical section because reading reading operations are permitted. But whereas read write or write read operations are not permitted at the same time. So therefore, how do we synchronize these readers and writers 
in this reader status problem. Therefore, in this problem, there are n number of readers will be there. Only one writer will be there. So, the readers and writers share the common data set. So, in order to access this data set, the reader writers makes use of one semaphore variable. It is rw underscore mutex. So, read write mutex is a semaphore variable that is used to access the common data set, both by the readers as well as the writers. Another uh, mutex variable is another semaphore variable used only by the readers because there is a read count variable. This read count variable defines how many number of readers are in the critical section. So, read count will be incremented by the multiple readers. So, in order to avoid multiple readers to increment this read count or decrement this read count while entering into the critical section and coming out of the critical section. This mutex variable is used for controlling the readers to perform the update operation on the read count variable. So, therefore, totally there are two semaphore variables are used. One is common to the both readers and writers. Another one is exclusively only for the readers. So, read write mutex variable is a common semaphore variable for both readers and writers. Mutex variable is only for the readers to access this read count. This is the structure of the writer process. It is very simple because writer wants to enter into the critical section for performing the writing operation. So, therefore, he will check the availability of a read write mutex variable. If the read write mutex variable is free, that means 1, then writer is permitted to enter into the critical section. If the read write mutex variable is 0, that means the mother reader is in the critical section. Therefore, writer is not permitted to enter into the critical section. So, this wait function blocks the writer from entering into the critical section. Once the writer gets permission to enter into the critical section, then he performs the writing operation in the data set. Then he will come out of the critical section by calling the signal function. So, read write mutex variable, again it will be incremented, 0 becomes 1. In this way, the writing writer process will perform its operations for entering into the critical section and then it, it calls the wait function while entering into the critical section and it calls the signal function when it come out of the critical section. This is the structure of the reader process. When the reader process wants to enter into the critical section, first it will increment the read count. In order to increment the read count, it has to acquire the permission through the read count mutex variable. If the mutex variable value is 1, then the process will increment the read count value. If the mutex variable is 0, then the process will be blocked in the wait function call. So, when the read count is incremented, the value of the read count is verified. Read count is equal to 1. This indicates he is the first reader entering into the critical section. When the first reader is entering into the critical section, he has to acquire the permission for entering into the critical section in order to access the data set. When second reader comes, already one reader is inside the critical section. So, since reader reader permissions are permitted, reader reader operations are permitted. So, therefore, thus other than first reader, any other number of readers wants to enter into the critical section, they are permitted without need to verify the value of the mutex variable, read write mutex variable. Here, the read count is equal to 1 indicates that he is the first reader entering into the critical section. So, therefore, he has to acquire the permission to enter into the critical section by verifying the value of the read write mutex variable. So, the wait function call on the read write mutex variable is verified. If the read write mutex variable is free, that means it is 1 means no one no one is inside the critical section. So, therefore, this permission is granted for the reader, reader to enter into the critical section. Hmm. The read count must be made available for the other readers because the read count must be incremented every time when a reader enters into the critical section. So, therefore, the signal of the mutex variable is, is issued in order to make this mutex variable available for other readers to perform the increment of the read, read count value. 
Now the reader is inside the critical section. He is performing the reading operation inside the critical section on the data set. So when the reader wants to come out of the critical section, he has to decrement the read count. In order to decrement the read count, it is accessing the corresponding read count mutex variable. If the mutex variable is uh, 1, then reader is permitted to decrement the read, read count value. If the mutex variable value is 0, then reader is blocked here waiting for the availability of the mutex variable to decrement this read count. So, in this way, the mutex variable is used for incrementing or decrementing the value of the read count by the readers. Once the read count is decremented, then the value of the read count is verified. It is 0. This indicates that the last reader when he comes out of the critical section, he has to release the read write lock on the data on the critical section. So such that this data set will be available for writer. So in that way, the signal function is called on the read write mutex variable. So therefore, the mutex variable previously it was 0, now it will be turned to 1. So now the writer process, if it is waiting for entering into the critical section, it will be resumed from its wait function call, then it will acquire permission to enter into the critical section. In this way, this read write mutex variable is helpful for both the reader and writer for make for accessing the contents of the critical section. And finally, after re, after changing the value of the read write uh, read count, is this process is the re, this read reading pro, reader process is incrementing the mutex value connected to this read count such that this read count can be accessible by the other readers in the system. So in that way, the readers will make use of the mutex variable for accessing the read count. And the first reader makes use of the read write mutex variable for acquiring the permission to enter into the critical section. And the last reader, that is read count is equal to 0, that means that if he is the last reader, who is coming out of the critical section, he releases the log. That means, the, finally, the summary of this reader's writer problem is, in case of reader's, reader's uh, problem, the first reader who is entering into the critical section acquired the log and then entered into the critical section. And uh, the last reader who is coming out of the critical section rele releases the log. So, in the, that is the statement here. Read count is equal to 1. This indicates that this read count is equal to 1. This indicates that the first reader entering into the critical section acquired the lock. Read count is equal to 0. This indicates that he is the last writer coming out of the critical section. So, he will release the lock by using the signal function. Thank you for watching this video.